Hello and welcome to the Galblade News. In today's top story, London declares major incident from COVID-19. The spread of COVID in London is out of control, according to Sadiq Khan, who has declared a major incident. The coronavirus infection rate in London has exceeded 1,000 per 100,000 people, based on the latest figures from Public Health England. However, the Office for National Statistics recently estimated as many as 1 in 30 Londoners have coronavirus. Mr Khan told BBC political reporter Carl Mercer that the figure is as high as 1 in 20 in some parts of London. Major incidents have previously been called for the Grenfell Tower fire in June 2017 and the terror attacks at Westminster Bridge and London Bridge. A major incident is any emergency that requires the implementation of special arrangements by one or all of the emergency services, the NHS or the local authority. It means the emergency services and hospitals cannot guarantee their normal level of response. Currently, there are more than 7,000 people in hospital with COVID-19, the mayor said. This is a 35% increase compared to last April's peak of the pandemic, he added. Dr. Samantha Bat Rowden, a senior intensive care registrar at Royal London Hospital, tweeted, We tried, we really tried. NHS staff pleaded with people that Christmas is not worth it. Now, one in 30 people in London have COVID and ICUs are overwhelmed. My heart is broken. An analysis of Public Health England figures shows in the week to 3rd of January, the number of cases rose across all of the London boroughs compared with the previous week, with 17 individually recording more than 1,000 cases per 100,000 people. Testing increased in parts of the city after a drop over the Christmas period, but positivity was high among people taking lab-based tests, suggesting more testing is needed to find undiagnosed cases in the community. In the last week, many parts of the capital saw a rise in deaths where a person had tested positive for coronavirus in the previous 28 days, with some areas recording more than double the number of deaths on the previous week. However, reporting over the Christmas period may have affected this. Out of the 18 acute hospital trusts in London providing figures to the government, all of them recorded having more beds being filled by coronavirus patients than in the previous week. Bart's NHS Health, one of London's largest trusts, saw a 30% increase in coronavirus patients between the 29th of December and the 5th of January to, to, to 830. The Mayor of London's announcement comes after the counties of Sussex and Surrey declared similar major incidents on Thursday. He said the London Ambulance Service was currently taking up to 8,000 emergency calls a day, compared to 5,500 on a typical busy day. The London Fire Brigade said more than 100 firefighters had been drafted in to drive ambulances help cope with the demand. London's Regional Director for Public Health England, Kevin Fenton, said the current wave of coronavirus was the biggest threat the capital had faced in this pandemic to date. Professor Fenton urged Londoners to cut contacts and reduce movements. He added, the emergence of the new variant means we are setting record case rates at almost double the national average, with at least one in 30 people now thought to be carrying the virus. We know this will sadly lead to large numbers of deaths, so strong and immediate action is needed. Mr Khan is warning that London is at crisis point. If we do not take immediate action, now our NHS could be overwhelmed and more people will die, he said. Londoners continue to make huge sacrifices and I am today imploring them to please stay at home unless it is absolutely necessary for you to leave. Stay at home to protect yourself, your family, friends and other Londoners and to protect our NHS. He said he had written to Prime Minister Boris Johnson asking for more financial support for Londoners who need to self-isolate and are unable to work and for daily vaccination data. Mr Khan also called for the closure of places of worship and for face masks to be worn routinely outside the home included in housing places and supermarket queues in a bid to, cur to curb uh, case numbers. The Mayor of London was in a sombre mood 